All right, everybody, we are back for some more of our 11 and 1 January specials, in which this time around we're going to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, third edition for PC. And this will count as game two of my original run, in which I've won $1,000 so far. Let's see if I can win more. Oh, we don't need that sound yet. Who wants to be a millionaire? Third edition. Okay, how many players do we have? All alone, huh? Do you need to go over the instructions? Tell us your name and a little bit about yourself, will you? Oh, thanks, I'm on it. But I think you'll do better with this name. Charlatan. Ah, ha, ha! All right, then. Let's play. Check out your first question. Someone who strongly starts a position is often to be setting to be putting his what down? His foot. See. Is that your final answer? You want C. You're absolutely right. Well, you're off and running, but that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's see if your $200 question is more of a challenge. Something that has stopped before and has a chance to develop is said to be nipped in the what? Bud, A. You're mighty confident it's A. That's right! Hey, you've got the $200, but don't stop now. Here's your $300 question. Which of these expressions describes a person who's very pleased? Tickled pink. Confident it's B, huh? Yes, you got it right. Three down, but twelve to go. And here's your next question, worth five hundred dollars. Johnny Carson was a long time host of what late night talk show, The Tonight Show. Hey, you're mighty confident it's A. You're absolutely right. Hey, that was excellent! Now let's see if you can double your money with the next question. In football slang, what is the name of the play in which a quarterback takes a snap and surges forward? D looks like the correct answer to you. Well, all right. When you're right, you're right. One thousand dollars. Okay, you've reached the first safe haven of the game. Now, if we were on television, we'd go to a commercial. But since this is a computer game, let's take a look at your two thousand dollar question. Here it is.
What heavy material is added to a boat to increase its stability? That would have to be... You're thinking answer C. Well, all right. Yeah. That's right. You're making money hand over fist. Can you believe this? Now let's keep going for $4,000. Here it comes. What city is the primary setting for the 1981 Dudley Award movie, Arthur? New York City. Quick to press D. Fine. You're right. Okay, that's $4,000. Your next question is worth $8,000, and here it is. Primarily is made primarily from what type of grain? It is primarily made with uh, rye. You're going to bet on answer B. And you're right. One smart customer, but we're not finished with you. Let's see how you do with the sixteen thousand dollar question. What member of a pioneering automobile family won the Indianapolis 500 car race as a driver? Okay, you're running out of time. Make a choice or hit L to use a lifeline. Gaston Chevrolet. B. Are you sure that's your final answer? Yes. Do you feel confident about answer B? Somewhat. You're absolutely right. All right. You're on a streak here. Congratulations, but don't stop now. The next question puts you at $32,000. Bob Woodward's 2000 book, Maestro, focuses on which of these political, influential political leaders? Uh, Alan Greenspan C. You're comfortable going with answer C. Okay. 
You got it. Excellent. That's 10 in a row and $32,000. And you've hit another safe haven, so you can't lose your current winnings. Now let's take a look at your $64,000 question. Which of these scientific units of measure is not named for a scientist or inventor? Volt was named for Alexander Volta. Ampere, I believe, was... for Andre Marie M here. So it's either Erg or Watt. It was named after James Watt, so I'm gonna say Eric C. Final. Wanna go ahead and make that your final answer? Answer C seems like the one to go with. All right. You are correct. You're at $64,000 and now's your chance at $125,000. Let's play. Martin Luther King Jr. earned a doctorate at university from White University in 1955. It was Boston University. Would you like to make that your final answer? Yes. You want to select answer C? No problem. Yes, you got it right. Oh, that was great. $125,000 is yours, but don't forget, one wrong answer, and you'll drop back to 32,000. What author's 1900 novel Sister Carrie caused a scandal with this depiction of adultery? Who wrote Sister Carrie? Uh, Theodore Dreiser. Would you like to make that your final answer? Yeah. You're putting your money on answer C. When you're right, you're right. Unbelievable. You're just two questions away from the million. But no pressure. But just don't forget, this next question is worth one half million dollars. The bear that inspired A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh was a regiment mascot for what nation's army? That'll have to be Canada. Answer B is your choice for this one. Yep. That's right. <laughs> the 
The moment you've been waiting for, one million dollars. Oh boy, take a look at your 15th and final question. Rhapsody on a beam by Paganini was a hallmark of one composer's career. Okay, which lifeline would you like to use? 50 one fifty fifty. All right, computer, take away two of those wrong answers. So we've narrowed down Stravinsky the possibilities a bit. Beckman, uh, whatever. I guess those fifty fifty odds aren't enough for you. Okay, pick a lifeline. Let's see what the people have to say. I hope that was helpful. It sure didn't seem like it from here. You now have 15 seconds to think it over. Still unsure, huh? You may think it's funny that I would call a clown to help answer this question, but Clark is like a walking encyclopedia in big red shoes. Please tell me you're calling for Clark the Clown. Hey, it's Regis. How you doing, Clark? <laughs> Hang on, kids. I've got Regis filming on the phone. <laughs> Sounds like a rowdy bunch you got there. Look, I'm sorry, Regis. These kids just won't stop. They have no respect for celebrities. You want to help us out with a millionaire question? Yeah, I can. But you better make it snappy. You can't make these balloon animals fast enough to placate them. Here we go. Yeah, I know this one. As you may not be aware, I graduated summa cum laude in liberal arts. That's really great to hear. It is unquestionably answer D. We'll never get better advice from someone wearing a rainbow wig. Uh, thank you, Regis. That's very nice of you to say so. Thanks. Bye now. Clown says D. Will you trust him? Yes, I will. Final answer? Going to agree with my friend? Fine. When you're right, you're Thank right. You. Congratulations, you're a millionaire. One million, one thousand dollars in two days. Well, now you're a millionaire. Time for all those distant relatives and old friends to call you up and ask for a handout. And they will. Lucky for you, there isn't any real cash here. Yeah, so they're not going to get a thing. Nothing. A lot easier being rich when it's all virtual money, isn't it? But still you wish? Ah, forget about it. I'll see you later. I'll see you all for that next segment, everybody.